So, it's time to be serious. Yeah, we're always serious, aren't we? There have been two big headlines in the news the past two days. One, President Biden announced he's going to withdraw troops from Afghanistan. And Mm -hmm. here in the UK, M&S begins legal action against Aldi over Colin the Caterpillar Cake. Wow, this is my area of expertise, chocolate cake. (laughs) So, I've got the article here, Spacey. Okay. So Marks and Spencers have begun legal action against Aldi because they're saying that Aldi's Cuthbert the Caterpillar infringes its Colin the Caterpillar trademark. What do you think? I mean, for me, the more chocolate cake, the better. So, <laughs> so, you, so I'll allow it. More chocolate cake deserves to exist yeah, in the world. Even if they are stealing ideas, I don't have enough integrity to care. <laughs> more, more You're a bent copper. The caddy bastard. <laughs> See, the thing is, right, they lodged an intellectual property claim with the High Court <laughs> over this stupid caterpillar. See, I've not heard this news. Clearly, I've not watched enough of the news. <laughs> You've got to stay up to date. There's going to be a Netflix series released soon. Is it going to be in the style of the um, the Social Network? Jesse Eisenberg is the head of um, MS. And um, Andrew Garfield is the head of Aldi. <laughs> Cuthbert versus Colin. I don't know how much material you could get out of a lawsuit. Well, there's loads, Colin there's the loads of problems with this case. Like Tesco have Curly, Morrison's have Morris, and Asda have as Clyde the Caterpillar. Why aren't they suing them? It's true. I like Aldi. You get all the cheap stuff from there, <laughs> and it tastes nice. Aldi are known for like doing knockoff stuff. Like, they do knock off, like, detergents, um, crisps, biscuits. Pop, you name it. Pop. <laughs> I'm, I'm a five-year-old. <laughs> they do different pop. No, I have a theory that it's because Aldi make everything so much cheaper. So it's sold for £5 and out. So, the, so basically they're worried that more people will buy them from Aldi because it's cheaper, which is probably what I would do because m and is a rip-off, no offence, but... Yeah, and the, um, Only Tories um, shop at m <laughs> My girlfriend shops at m and I made that case, a joke... Case in point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I made a joke about m and being a Tory shop and she just froze up and went silent and I went, you don't shop at m and dear? And she went, yeah. <laughs> We we love your girlfriend, but yep. just admit it is a Tory institution. The Robin gets. <laughs> do you reckon it's because Aldi does do stuff cheaper and rip stuff off? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I imagine they just taste exactly the same. It's just chocolate. Yeah. Who'd be fussy about chocolate? Well, I heard not. that apparently Morrison's made a loss for the first time ever this year, you know, because of um, the bad no-no thing. So... Maybe if they sue Aldi, they will recoup those costs. They're relying on this caterpillar for the stockholders. So, Remini not think it's got enough money <laughs> for the things it sells. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fiver for a bag of Percy Pigs. Well, you know, you've got to support the Conservative Party. They put a lot of funding into that, I imagine. We're not going to be in your girlfriend's good books after this video. <laughs> oh, we've done no. a slug off m <laughs> I mean, they do do nice food, in fairness. <laughs> I mean, they do. But the uh, bank account doesn't like it, though. <laughs> I'm here for the Aldi revolt. <laughs> yeah. that, that sounds like one of the biscuits you'd rip off. <laughs> Why not try the an Aldi, Aldi revolt? <laughs> <laughs> it's their um, type of rum. They rip off of three <laughs> barrels. I wonder if this video is showing how northern we are, because we're like, oh, Aldi's great, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Aldi slaps. <laughs> Did you ever read the little caterpillar book when you was a kid? Yeah, the one that ate everything. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. It was one of my favourite books as a kid. Well, don't you think that author should sue m and if they win this case and go, I made caterpillars popular with kids? <laughs> I actually invented Colin the Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be a twist in the documentary. Well, I want to know is why is he called Colin? It's such a random name for caterpillar. I know it's alliterative, but... <laughs> That's pre- you've pretty much nailed it there. That's all. That's right. <laughs> but I mean, is Colin a Tory name? I feel I feel like Colin's like your typical Labour supporting uncle. <laughs> so maybe not. Wait. So you thought that they'd name the 
caterpillar after it, like a famous story, like Charles. But, yeah, like Cornelius or something. <laughs> Corn- Cornelius the caterpillar. Cornelius the caterpillar. <laughs> now, don't you think this is just very British that this is in the news? Um, yeah, it was like the whole debate a few years ago about vegan sausage rolls and Piers Morgan <laughs> really getting upset about it. I'm like, well, no one's forcing you to eat them. <laughs> Well, Bo- and Boris and, uh, Johnson saying, have you tried a vegan sausage roll? Vegan. <laughs> vegan, like he's never heard of the word before. He's like T- Ted Hastings, never heard about lesbians. Boris is like that with vegans. And he's the man running our country. Well, Hastings, I wish. I wish as well. <laughs> He'd do his duty to the letter of the law, son. The letter. There's another theory going round that this whole thing is to just get people to buy both and do a taste test. I mean, I wouldn't say no. See, if it wasn't for lockdown, I would have bought both and said, go on, taste spicy, try those two caterpillars. Wow. Well, and they probably taste exactly the same. But Aldi would probably just taste better in my mind because I knew it was cheaper. Exa- I'm exactly the same. I said this to Anna, and she said that she prefers quality over quantity. And I'm like, you give me a bigger caterpillar for a cheaper price, and that'll be the nicer one. Exactly. I fully agree. There we go. <laughs> I like this chocolate that's made from the blood of children. I'm not having that. So isn't all chocolate just made out of slave labour anyway? Nestle made a statement a few years ago that said, if we stopped slavery in the making of chocolate, chocolate would go up in price. And everyone was like, well, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Oh, don't say that because I love their mini egg cakes. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. Am I a bad person for shopping at Nestle? <laughs> No, it's fine. I'll I'll allow it. (laughs) I mean, the children might not, but you know. Maybe I should invest in a different chocolate company. (laughs) Oh, they they all do it, I think. Probably, yeah. Especially M&S. Yeah, so you'd have to just become vegan. Vegan? (laughs) Um, Nestle tried to sue Aldi in 2018, you know, to trademark the four-finger shape of the Kit Kat. It's been trying to do that for like ten years. Go on, make a joke about four fingers. I literally wasn't. That was just you. Oh, okay. Now, do you reckon? I just hate. I just hate the people that don't eat Kit Kats properly. People that just. Well, like, yeah, you just take a big those, bite out of those... all four fingers, don't you? Ow. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously you. Br- oh, this made me cringe. <laughs> I I was just talking about people eating Kit Kats wrong. I know, but it's wrong. You don't. You don't do that. It it creates a horrible shape, and you just bite into more than one finger. So you've got to do one finger at a time. Yeah, you've got to not one finger off and then eat it. Oof. <laughs> Another theory is, people on the internet are going crazy about this caterpillar thing, right? Oh, for sure. Someone, someone said they're suing the companies in alphabetical order, which really made me laugh. And another one said... Aldi, Aldi and Alistair are just like, we are going down for a long <laughs> time, fella. <laughs> um, another one said they're going for Aldi because they're known to rip off other products and it will make it easier to sue other people. To be fair, the amount of things Aldi's ripped off, I'm surprised, like, this is the thing that's big news, because I would have thought that you would have had a lot of lawsuits against them already. Have you seen a caterpillar cake that somebody made a while ago, and they said they're going to have to release okay. this and start calling it, I can't believe it's not Colin. <laughs> right, so I'll throw the image up on screen, but I'll send it to you now. Okay. Okay, look at that. That's I can't believe it's not Colin. <laughs> <laughs> The tea. It's terrifying. <laughs> That's my sleep paralysis. <laughs> you get night terrors over that thing. It reminds me of um, that that um, old lady covered in mud in Will Holland Drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that. That's what that looks like to me. That's horrifying. <laughs> Another thing people have said is that they should bring out a chocolate butterfly and say that he's evolved, <laughs> so they can get out of the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Colin is free. <laughs> Colin is a free elf. <laughs> now, we've established that we would buy the Aldi version over the M&S, because the Aldi version is four ninety nine, the Marks and Spencer's version is £7, and they look identical. Exactly. It's just chocolate with a white chocolate face and some Smarties on it. I mean, there's a, a very simple art to Colin the Caterpillar. It's got simple ingredients, but it works, and it's a... A classic, a British staple. <laughs> you can't have a party without Colin. <laughs> We're in our twenties. 
When was the last party you went to that had the coal and the caterpillar cake? I've been to one. Then. <laughs> Next time it's my birthday, please buy All right, all right, right. you're getting the coal and the caterpillar cake. Well, you'll get yes. you'll get Cuthbert because you'll enjoy that more. That's the Aldi one. Oh, Cuthbert the caterpillar. <laughs> no. My man, Cuthbert. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Did you even know the names? Did you know he was called Colin, or did you just call it? I knew he was called Colin. I didn't. I didn't know where the Aldi one was called Cuthbert. Though. See, I always just thought it they was all caterpillars, just caterpillar cake. So maybe the trademark no, is. I knew it was Colin the caterpillar because I'd heard it before, and it just kind of stuck because obviously it's alliterative. Yeah. So. All right. So maybe they have something there. It's still way overpriced, though. Well, who do you think you could win in a fight? Colin the cat. Cuthbert's a hard man. <laughs> <Careful>. <laughs> Colin the caterpillar, Cuthbert the caterpillar, or the or the worm from Labyrinth. The worm from Labyrinth, absolutely. <laughs> Who me? Come inside and meet the missus. <laughs> he should sue. Hello. He should sue Colin. Who me? No, I'm just a worm. <laughs> That's something he actually says. <laughs> I'm all just being weird. That'd be him in the lawsuit. Who me? No, I'm just a worm. <laughs> That worm is the hero of the 80s. There's never been a better 80s character than the worm from Wild <laughs> Right. You know the line of duty meme you sent me the other day? I don't know. I'll send you quite a lot. You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> I'll throw her up on screen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just opened my phone back up and I had that horrible <laughs> caterpillar looking at me. That was horrifying. Um... Oh, my favourite <laughs> meme. I love this meme. Is there a new one? Yeah, look. Have you made no. this? For what reason does Cuthbert have a lawsuit against him? <laughs> <laughs> now, we won't explain that in case it gives away spoilers, but the line of duty folks will get it. So, Spicy, do you think m and can sue Aldi? Do you think they have a case? I mean, they probably can, because let's be honest, Aldi does rip off products. They probably but, um, can to Aldi. pill it. I hope in Aldi conquers. What? I hope Aldi conquers. I'm just ignoring your joke. <laughs> when we have that party and we bring over Colin, sorry Cuthbert. Yes. Party on. My twenty third birthday is going to be the best birthday <laughs> ever. Can't wait. For we'll do a Cuthbert taste birthday. test. We'll get all the caterpillars for you. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. I'm genuinely excited. <laughs> My birthday's just gone. But I'm so excited for the next one now. <laughs> Spicy likey. <laughs>